North Korea is known to be very secretive and cut off from the rest of the world. The world. It was given the nickname Hermit Kingdom. To enter North Korea, you have to sign a contract that you're not a journalist or photographer and that you won't upload anything to the media. If you do happen to upload something to the media, you have to get approved by the North Korean government. North Korean government, and if you don't, you could get sued by your travel agency. Also, on the tours of North Korea, they only show you what they want you to see, resulting in videos and reports being shared for it. To add on, it is illegal for foreigners to walk around without a tour guide in unauthorized areas. The North Korean government is scared that the foreigners might see something that the government does not want them to see. They do not want any bad content about them on the internet. To top it all off, in the hotels and other public places, they have a whole floor dedicated to monitoring these desks all day, seven days a week. Seven days a week. They do this because they don't want anyone, tourists or not, to break any laws. And if you do, you will be severely punished. For decades, North Korea has been one of the world's most secretive societies. It is one of the few countries that is still under communist rule. Radio Radio and TV sets in North Korea are pre-tuned to government stations that pump out a steady stream of propaganda. The press and broadcasters, all of them under direct state control, serve up a menu of flattering reports about North Korea's leader. Economic hardship and famines are not reported. North Korea is one of the hardest countries for foreign media to cover. With the prevalent poverty in North Korea, food shortages are widespread. Are widespread. A famine that started in the 1900s had a long lasting effect, forcing the country to become reliant on international aid to feed its people. The food crisis had resulted in thousands of deaths. According to the Food World Program, one third of the children are stunted due to malnutrition, malnutrition and the infant mortality rate is over 33%. Due to the government's two meals a day campaign, food riots are a common occurrence. Leaving the country without official permission is a crime. The government uses the threat of detention and forced labor as repercussions of disobedience. Disobedience. Many families flee to China to seek flee to China to seek refuge overseas. However, those that are caught are sent to political prisoner camps. The camps carry out systematic abuse, death rates, as these camps are reportedly very high. U.S. and South Korean officials estimate that between 80,000 to 120,000 people are imprisoned in these camps. Despite North Korea's secretive nature and intimidating attitude, it is actually very rich in culture and history. Firstly, the language spoken in North Korea is that which is spoken in South Korea, just a different dialect. This was caused by the split between the two countries, but in order to stop the Korean language from changing completely, North and South Korea agreed to keep the same grammar rules. On a different note, they also have some of the same stereotypical gender roles as other countries. When it comes to the domestic division of labor, although the state and the party tried to min minimize the work by introducing canned food and electrical appliances, it remains that women do most of the housework and child rearing even while Working as many hours as men outside of the home, the outside of the home, the efficiency doubles women's burdens in society. To enter North Korea, you have to sign a contract promising that you won't break any of the media laws. These laws include no uploading of information without the consent 
of North Korean government, and no filming or photography unless unprohibited. Not only this, but it is prohibited for tourists and foreigners to walk around in unauthorized areas without a tour guide. To further the control of media, they, as stated earlier, pump, pump out a steady flow of propaganda. This propaganda is used to brainwash the minds of the citizens and keep up the wall of lies, as well as shade them from the rest of the world, to make them believe that the prevalent poverty and famine is normal. And despite these awful characteristics of North Korea, they still have a rich history and culture. Everything that goes into their culture, food, music, art, etc., uh, makes them who they are. This aspect humanizes the way we look at them. Instead of seeing them as an awful country full of awful people based upon the actions of one person, Kim Jong-un, Jong um, we see them as humans with minds and hearts who simply were born in the wrong place at the wrong time. What do you think when you hear North Korea? Uh, my first thoughts are I think of a dictatorship, um, I think of poverty, Korean War, hunger. Those are my first thoughts of North Korea. Uh, what do you think life is like in North Korea? Um, what do I think life is like in North Korea? Um, I feel like there's there's a lot of human rights abuses, um, lots of poverty, lots of hunger, um, forced detention and um, torture. Um, it's probably not a very nice or comfortable place to live. Okay, finally, what interests you about North Korea? What do I find interesting about North Korea? I find that the, the people there must have a ton of tenacity and perseverance to live under these conditions. What are your initial thoughts on North Korea? Well, um, my understanding is North Korea is a very terrible country to live in, um, and that it's a very poor example of how a communist or Stalinist uh, government uh, should be run. Uh, so those are my initial thoughts. What do you think life is like in North Korea? So, for a regular citizen? Yes. Okay, well, my understanding would be um, there's some of the poorest living conditions uh, on the planet. Um, the f food is controlled by the government, and um, ever since in the late 90s, um, when there was massive starvation in the country, they have um, never really recovered from that. Um, so the malnutrition uh, in the country is uh, terrible. So I'm going to say their quality of life is uh, super low. Your, one of your most basic needs in life is to eat. And uh, if you don't have enough food to eat, um, and your quality of life is low, uh, you would hope that your social life might uh, make up for that, but um, all of the media outlets and uh, theater, all of the arts, they're all controlled by the government and uh, are mostly aligned with a like military first um, modus operandi. So you can only make art, theater, uh, that is pro-government. Um, so basically they're lacking all um, freedoms that we take for granted in the United States along with uh, malnutrition. So I'm going to say um, quality of life there is terrible. Okay, they'll get rid of their nuclear arsenal. Hmm. Wow, so that was almost like a tease. Um, 
No, I do not believe North Korea um, will honor any sort of broad statements that they have made uh, to deproliferate. Um, the entire country, from my understanding, uh, and definitely, you would they say the regime is interested in holding that nuclear weapon as like a the ability to arbitrate forcefully with other countries. Uh, in other words, they believe it it gives them a big rock if you're going to a fight, um, and without. Uh, nuclear weapons. Um, the regime, uh, I think, believes um, that they don't have a bargaining chip at the table um, due to the fact that they don't have a lot of goods or services to offer to other countries. So um, that's like their one standby. Uh, but this stems from their military first uh, modus operandi of how they run the country. Um, so no, I, I believe they have no intention whatsoever of deproliferating. Um, they've managed to get where they're at with their nuclear weapons um, uh, through illicit black market deals with Russians and Chinese and uh, other countries. Uh, I believe that it's all lip service um, that they say claim they will deproliferate. Uh, I would say we should just expect a nuclear powered um, North Korea, which it's terribly scary. If you can't manage to feed your people, then um, I really worry about your ability to wield a, a nuclear weapon. Um, so that's my thought on that. Yes. Thank you for your time. Oh, no problem. North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> to add on, it is illegal for North. <laughs>